The overall goal of these two transcranial magnetic stimulation protocols is to investigate the activity of intracortical inhibitory circuits within the primary motor cortex, or M1, while performing motor tasks under different attentional foci. Although many studies have established the advantage of an external compared to an internal focus of attention, little is known about the underlying neural mechanisms. Despite enhanced motor performance, an external focus of attention is usually accompanied by a decreased muscular activity. Therefore, we speculated that inhibitory mechanisms might be involved. The applied TMS methods, namely SAP-TMS and Ziki, allow to better understand the impact of attentional foci on the activity of the inhibitory circuits within the primary motor cortex. The main advantage of the subthreshold transcranial magnetic stimulation technique is that there is no movement artifact due to the low stimulation intensity. In contrast, the conventional pair pulse protocol uses higher stimulation intensities and therefore leads to muscle contractions. However, this method is well established and its impact on the GABAergic synapses is thoroughly investigated. Begin by having the participant sit in the testing chair and place a monitor one meter in front of them. Next, place the left arm in a comfortable and relaxed position under the table, resting on the left leg. Place the right arm of the subject in a custom-built splint in pronated position. Align the finger joint with the axis of rotation of the custom-made device. Once the optimal position is found, take a picture of the anteroposterior and medial lateral